Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create quiz for your students. So first thing, turn editing on. And then it's up to you which section you want to. You can add the quiz. Click add an activity or resource and this one will pop up. And under activities, you will go to quiz. Click on that one and click add. And this page will pop up. Now, the only thing that is required for you to fill up is the name because this is the only one that has the star. So I'm gonna do quiz one, okay? And then if you wanna describe anything about the quiz or whatever you can, maybe give instructions like, I don't know, answer all questions, you know, that's really a no-brainer. But yeah, you can leave it empty or you can write any instructions or description about the quiz. All right. Now I'm gonna go through very briefly on the options that you have um, because it can be important. So let's have a look for the ones that are important. Now for the timing, if you, let's say, wanna prepare the quiz in advance, like maybe this afternoon, and then you want the students to answer it on Monday, you can. So you want to open the quiz on Monday. So you click enable and then next Monday will be 21st of March. So click on 21st. Okay. And then on Monday it will be opened. If you finish it this afternoon or this evening, but you don't want it to be open yet, it's it's doable. So you didn't you're you're gonna have to set the time for this one. And then if you wanna give um an open quiz test, an open quiz to your students and they can do it anytime they want and you're going to give them a couple of days you can do that too so click enable and then when is it that you want them um, to end the quiz so maybe like by 23rd every one of them should be done okay so if they haven't done the quiz yet by this time they can't answer the quiz anytime, uh, anymore after 23rd of march time limit okay so this is a time that um, you want to limit the time let's say for all of the questions let's say you have only three questions you want them to answer it in only 10 minutes it's doable okay so click enable and then you know just write how many minutes you want it to be so let's say 10 minutes when time expires so you also have the options here um, Open attempts are submitted automatically. And then there is a grace period when open attempts can be submitted, but no more, no more questions answered. Attempts must be submitted before time expires or they are not counted. So if you want them to have a grace period where they can actually open the quiz, but they, they can't answer the quiz anymore. So you click on this one. And this one, you can change on this part right maybe two days or three days maybe they just want to check on the um, question and try and um, answer it again or check it in, in in their books or whatever you can but if you want them to just um, try once this is the option so attempts must be submitted before time expires so they are not counted you can also do that so after 23rd they tr they try submitting it again, but it will not be counted. Okay, great. Okay, so for the grade, um, let's look at the attempts allowed. So attempts allowed means how many time the students can actually answer the quiz. So if you want them to try only once, click on one. If you want them to try three times, click on you know it's it's up to you how many times or unlimited until they. You know they're satisfied you can you can give them the options and then if you click on attempts allowed only once and then this one will be you know the grading method will be gray and you can't touch on this one but if you give them more than one times of attempt let's click on three times this one you can tweak on it so uh, grading will be based on you can choose either the highest one let's say you give them um, three attempts they try three times and then the highest grade among those three attempts 
will be the grading method. Or let's say they get the first one 100, the second one 100, the third one 80. So it will just be, grade, be graded, you know, based on the average. Okay, so 100 plus 100 plus 80 divided by 3. Or only the first attempt will be counted will be you know the grade will be taken or the last attempt will be taken so you can choose which one layout you can shuffle the questions or you can give them the question based on your own sequence that you've already like you know sequenced I'd rather choose shuffled randomly so that if they're doing the quiz in a computer lab if like you know very there is a possibility of them looking at their friend's computer. Maybe question one, number one, uh, maybe question one for student A is different for question one for student B, and so on. So you can confuse them. New page. Um, so you also have the options of having every question in one page, or you know, it's up to you. You want to have four questions in one page, five questions in one page or you want all the questions in one page, it's, it's up to you, okay? You can choose. Question behavior, um, shuffle within questions, yes, you can do that. If you don't want to, you just click on no. How questions behave, so the default setting will be deferred feedback. Um, so this means whatever feedback that you want to give to the students will be at the end of the um, quiz, right? Or you can also like give them immediate feedback if you want to or if you want them to give um, different feedback with CBM. CBM stand, stands for uh, certainty based marking. So maybe some of the students will just, you know, guess the answers. So you want them to be certain that they actually know, you know, that they actually confidence confident with the answer. So. Let's say they say the answer is A, and then there will be something that will pop up like say, are you sure this is the right answer? And if they click yes, then they get it wrong, then the penalty will probably be higher. If they get it right, then they'll get higher points, something like that. So this is a little bit complicated, um, but some people, you know, they prefer with that. Um, I would suggest you go for deferred feedback or immediate feedback. To make it things simpler review options um i don't think you can you you can touch you can just like probably um explore this one by yourself but i'm not going to touch anything on this i'm just going to make it very quick this one mm -mm, not that important as well okay decimal places in grades you want it to be like how many decimal places if you want it only to be you know two decimal places you can no decimal places with zero <clears throat> um, I don't want to touch on this one too and then um, overall feedback so let's say if the students get all of them correct so they'll get 100% you can write well done so yeah you can also put a great boundary to it or maybe if they fail you can probably write okay you have to try harder something like that so you can actually give them feedbacks um, common module settings if you want the students to do the quiz in groups you can okay so it will be under group mode click on this one and then you can separate groups you can do you can click on separate groups right um, how to do the groupings I've already made a video on how to group the students manually or automatically so check on the videos um, then you can save and display click on save and display and this question uh, this page will pop up um, no questions have been added yet yes so what you're gonna have to do right now is you have to click on edit quiz right and this thing will come up and you can start adding questions by clicking add you click on add and then Pick a new question. So right now you have the options of, you know, creating your questions based on different types of 
questions, right? I would say the most commonly used will be essay, matching, multiple choice, um, random short answer, short answer, true or false. If you want it to be automatically done, like to be graded automatically, better not choose essay because essay you have to grade, grade it manually. Now let's look at how to do um, a few types, right? The most commonly ones, the most commonly used ones are multiple choice. You click on that one and then you click add and then this one will pop up. Question name will be um, the title of the question so that it will be in your question bank. If you want to find it later, it's, it's going to be easier for you. So let's say topic one. The name of the, quest, uh, the question is topic one. And it will be capital city, right? And then the question text. This is where the questions you're going to type the question. So which one of the answer, you know, I'm just making up question, is the capital city for Sarawak? Okay, and you have the options of giving marks, like for this one, maybe you want it to be like two points, two marks. Okay, so if you want to give feedback, like you are right, you are wrong, you can, it's up to you. I'm going to make it simple. So choice one, choice one will be um, Kuala Lumpur, for example, right? Great, none, because it's obviously this is a, the wrong answer. So you can write the feedback, you are wrong or something. And then choice two, um, it will be Gucci, which is the correct answer. Right, this is the question, right? Yep, Sarawa. So for the great, yep, you can put 100%. It's correct, and you can also give feedback. Great job, something. And then choice three, um, I don't know, Kota Kinabalu, Kota Kinabalu. So obviously this is the wrong answer, so no great for this one. And you can keep adding, you know, choices. So I think five is a lot already. I think it's enough, but if you want, more choices let's say if you want to add up to three more choices just click on this one okay and you have more choices see up to eight choices or if you want more you can click on keep clicking on this one but i think that would be ridiculous all right and yep you can also do this one but i'm not gonna touch a lot on the others because we're running out of time so save if you want to keep you know um, adding questions or maybe you want to save and then uh, keep editing on your question you can just click save changes and continue editing but i think i'm going to be done so i'm going to click save changes All right so there you are i have topic one capital city which one of the answer is the capital city for Sarawak? all right um i'm running out of time for this video i'm gonna make another video right just for you to to um, explore some of the other options for the quiz okay for the for the question types but if you want to um, review this question you can click on this um, very tiny what is this like a um, this magnifying glass click on this one and there you go, preview question, topic one, capital city. Which one of the answer is the capital city for Sarawak? And then you can just like click on select and, you know, submit and finish or you close the pre preview or whatever. Okay, you can still um, look at the attempts over here. Okay, and if you want to tweak the questions option, you can, you can still do it over here and just click update display options click on that one right and then you can close the preview so that is for um, multiple answer question right and then in another video i'll show you other kind of questions that you can um, use for your quiz i hope this helped thank you